What is up? How are you today? Steve here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to properly set up my fitness pal to track calories and macros. Before you watch this video, make sure you watched my TDEE calculation video so that you already know your calorie goals before using my fitness pal. My fitness pal does calculate your TDEE, but it's better to already know this value going in. Obviously, the first thing you need to do is download my fitness pal. It's a free calorie tracking app made by Under Armour that pretty much everyone who tracks macros uses. It's available on Android and Apple. Make sure you follow this step by step. By the end of this video, you will be ready to start tracking your macros. Once you've downloaded My Fitness Pal and opened it, you'll see a screen which prompts you to either sign up or log in. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to be creating a new account for our friend George. If you haven't met George yet, you need to go watch the TDEE video. When you click sign up, you'll be given the option to sign up with an email or sign up with Facebook. The only difference is, with Facebook, you can share your progress with Facebook friends. George doesn't really give a crap what his friends are eating, so we'll just go with email. Okay, first question, what is your goal? Now, if you already know your TDEE from the previous video, we'll just go with maintain. We'll be able to tailor it later on in this video to cut our bulk, so make sure you stick around for that. Next up is activity level. Again, this was covered in the previous video. We know that George works out at home when he can, so he's lightly active. What my fitness pal is trying to do here is a TDEE calculation, but we already know this TDEE, so this isn't too important to us right now. George is obviously male. This bit is important. My fitness pal will not sign you up if you're under 18. So even though we know George is 17, we'll make him 18 for the purposes of this video. For the record, lying about your age is bad. Don't lie about your age. There, I said it. Moving on. For location, George is from Ireland. Absolute legend. Anyone else ever get nervous when trying to find Ireland in a drop-down box? I'm always afraid I'll end up being from, like, the Ivory Coast or some shit by accident. From the previous video, we know that George is 175 centimeters tall and weighs about 65 kg. If you need to use pounds, stone, feet or whatever, knock yourself out. For the next part, you just need to put in your email and password and select a username. If you're wondering why this is blurred out, I already have a MyFitnessPal account, so I'm using an inactive email address to set this up for the purposes of this video. Unfortunately, George was taken, so say hello to George1453. Seriously though, if you're setting up a MyFitnessPal account with this video, go comment hello George1453. While this loads, make sure you subscribe to my channel for all the latest fitness diet, tips, tricks and secrets to help you on your journey to your after photo fitness goals. The last step in this part is the terms and conditions. So read them, accept what you need to, you know the drill. Realistically, you're gonna hit accept all and move on with your life. Okay, so the TDEE that my fitness pal gave George is 2,320. In our other calculation, we found that he needed around 2,500, but that's fine. We're about to tailor it with the macros. My fitness pal is free, but they do offer a premium version. I've never tried it, but that doesn't mean it's not awesome. Check it out if you want. George doesn't even have Spotify Premium, so he's going to skip out on MyFitnessPal Premium. MyFitnessPal is going to start its tutorial on how to log a meal now. Feel free to do that in your own time, but I want to fix George's calories and show you how to track your macros, so I'm going to skip it. To set your macros, go to the Me section at the bottom right of the screen and scroll down to Update Goals. In this section, we have all the info that we gave my fitness pal on George already. Scroll down to the nutrient goals section and go into the calorie, carbs, proteins, and fat goals. First thing we want to do is set the calories. From our TDEE calculation, we know George needs around 2,500 calories to maintain his current weight. If he wanted to cut down, he'd need about 2,000, or if he wanted to bulk up, he'd be closer to 3,000. For you, I'd suggest a surplus or deficit of anywhere from 200 to 500 calories. You can always come back and change it after a few weeks if you're not losing fat or gaining weight at the speed you want. Now we're going to set your macros. Go into any of these macros to open the macronutrients screen. The most important macronutrient is protein. Set your protein first, always. Hitting your protein macro is honestly the most important thing after your overall calories. The recommended amount of protein is usually around 1 gram per pound of body weight. Which means that George, who weighs 65 kg, or around 143 pounds, needs at least 143 grams of protein per day. 
if, like we see on this screen, your options are either side of your goal, like here, 125 grams or 156 grams, go for the higher one. I always reckon it's better to overshoot on protein than not hit that one gram per pound body weight goal. Next up is fats. I usually recommend anywhere between 50 to 60 grams, but to be honest, as a beginner, the main thing you need to focus on right now is your overall calorie intake and hitting that one gram per pound body weight of protein goal. After that, carbs and fats are fairly flexible. Lastly, we need our percentage total at the bottom of the screen to be 100%. So just change the carbs until you get to 100. Hit the tick when you're done and your macros are now set. We've set our calories and macros, but I'm not done yet. I want to quickly run through the main things you're gonna need in this app for tracking and the mistakes I made when I was starting out. Hopefully, you won't make these mistakes. If you go back to the home screen, you'll see a plus symbol at the bottom. This is where you add your meals. One of the main features you'll use in this app is the water feature. Top tip, you should be drinking two to four liters a day to process all that protein correctly. Also, if you're looking for abs, water is your friend. Obviously enough, you'll be adding all your meals in the food section. You can track your weight in the weight section. To accurately track your weight, you need to weigh yourself either every day or every second day, first thing in the morning, as soon as you get up. If you take a shit in the morning, get that out of the way before you weigh yourself. Weighing yourself in this consistent fashion is key. It's the most accurate way of actually judging if you're making progress or not. Your overall average weight loss or gain per week is the only number you need to know. The big mistake I made when I first started tracking was I tracked my exercise. Please don't do this. My fitness pal already knows your activity level. You've told it in the TDEE calculation. So if you log your activity, my fitness pal will jack up your calories and you run the risk of losing your deficit if you're cutting or way overshooting the mark if you're bulking. Don't track your exercise. Don't be stupid like I was. All that's left now is for you to subscribe to my channel and you'll be one step closer to tracking properly and achieving your after photo physique goals. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.